Hey guys, what's up? So you know how much I love Megazone 2.3. I thought I'd do a video on all of my Megazone books. So, you know, obviously there's more Megazone books, but these are the ones I, I own. So if you love the 1985 classic like I do, well, this uh, video's for you. So let's get started here. And this one's called Graffiti. So down here it says original the day after, tomorrow blues, exciting shot, and battle zone. So the first thing you get when you open up the book is a poster of Eve. Nice. Oh, oh, wait up. So there's a poster on the other side of the of, of Eve as well. So some great shots here. Um, look like mostly like stills from the film itself, like screenshots and different um, like iterations of Eve, different outfits and whatnot. And then of course, because this film came out in the 80s, there's like this whole like aerobics flash dance scene in the movie. Leg warmers. You know, it just wouldn't be right without that anyway, so gotta have that. And then you've got the garland here. And some scenes that, you know, at the time were a little bit different for animation, at least in the Western world. So I was like, whoa, character's memory. You got Shogo here on his motorcycle and just being kind of, you know, charismatic and whatnot. And Yui, of course, you know, doing her aerobics, stuff like that. Now, now, it's hard to say, you know, who the love interest is in this movie, if it's Yui or uh, Eve. You know, even though Eve is an AI, like, pop singer, so, you know, she's, she's not in the physical world. And then some of the support characters. Now, this is a great book. I mean, it really has a lot of shots from the movie. You know, BD, which I believe was the the villain in the movie, more or less. Some artwork here. This says Battle Zone. And a lot of shots of the garland. Whoa. Eh, another page, there we go. I wish there was a, an art book of um, Megazone 2.3, and maybe there is, maybe I've just never seen it. Maybe you guys have seen it, and you can tell me about it. You know, that has some really great artwork, you know, more stuff like this than uh, shots from the movie itself, or uh, like mech designs or, or, you know, the the more line work stuff that usually is included in a lot of the books. Hirohiko Miku Mikimoto, you know, he's got a lot of books and um, a lot of them tend to be more uh, about like Macross and Macross 2 and whatnot. Um, but I'd love to see a book like that with that was just Megazone. I haven't watched this movie for several years and it's in, in my stack of movies that's you know next to my television that are ready to be watched. 
So I just watched Macross 2, which was amazing. Got possibly my second favorite movie after Megazone 2-3. Um, and of course I watched a, a Bubblegum Crisis and right now I'm watching AD Police. So I've got like one more episode to watch on that. And then I'll either watch um, Macross Do You Remember Love or I'll watch Megazone 2-3. Just classic iconic pose right here from Eve. And that's that book. Okay, let's go to our second book here. I don't want to keep you guys too long. So this one's called 40th Anniversary. And there's a poster in this one as well. It's detached, I'm not sure why. I bought this one at a convention a while back. Um, and the poster was inside but detached and then there's um, another image here and of course you get Eve here Megazone 2-3 film story so this is similar to the first book that we looked at where it has a lot of shots from the movie but I think this one has a little more artwork. Here's the garland here, and this is kind of like an illustration in the center of all the screenshots. So I like that. I like the way they mixed it up there. That's cool. Of course, again, you know, you, you've got that aerobic class going on here. So that if you weren't sure that this um, film took place in the 80s, well, that would solidify it for you. And then I like the way that Eve had these different looks. I mean, she's AI, so she can look, you know, like anything or anybody, but. Yeah, I like that they changed her up in the film. It was a little bit confusing because I wasn't sure if this, and, and maybe I'm still not 100% sure that this is Eve, but I'm pretty sure that, that it is. This is a great shot here. Almost like a, like a model sheet type shot there. And then you get into some artwork. I'm assuming this is uh, this girl here is either the voice of Eve or um, did the songs, or both. So you have some storyboard artwork here mixed up with the um, the screenshots, which is really cool. I like that. And here and here. I've seen another another Megazone 2-3 book kind of floating around out there. And the person that has it up for sale doesn't have any shots of the book. You know, it's just the cover of the book and then the price, which kind of scares me when I can't see what the interior of the book looks like, at least a sample, you know? I mean, I've definitely bought books that didn't have a sample of any of the uh, pages and then they turned out to be an amazing book. But, you know, I, I've also bought books where the um, seller will put like five pictures of the interior of the book and they're all amazing and then you get the book and the rest is all like black and white model sheets so you know it can go either way garland model sheets now this book has a little more model sheets than the last book but you do get more artwork at the end as well Try to skim through these a little bit faster.
Okay, so here you get some artwork, and this is an amazing piece here of Eve. It looks like probably watercolor. And then you get some models of the garland kind of variations. This is really cool. And then you get this artwork that almost looks like fan artwork, but I'm sure it's done in house. Look at this. This is just super, super 80s looking. She's got green hair with a little pink in the front. And uh, you've got the aviator sunglasses here with the leg warmers. I mean, all they needed to do was throw a Rubik's Cube in that shot. You got BD here. I would highly recommend this book. If you don't have it and you like Megazone 2-3, this is another great, great uh, illustration here. And this book, I remember when I purchased it, it wasn't expensive at all. It says making of Megazone 2-3. I wonder what this was about. I mean, was there an actual film, The Making Of? And then, Last but not least, I have a Bee Club Special Megazone 2-3 book. And this is a, a heavier book. Um, if you like a lot of model sheets and uh, mech designs, stuff like that, then you'll like this book. Some artwork here, really beautiful. And then you, you know, you get back into all the uh, file artwork. And this is a great model sheet of Eve. A lot of headshots and uh, different outfits and whatnot. And then you get Shogo here and uh, Yui here. But you don't get like a double, you know, double page spread like you did with Eve for some reason. Tells you who the main character was of this movie, huh? The Garland. It says Real City 2-3, so I don't know if uh, in the movie it was modeled after Real City in Japan, but it's possible that it was. And then from uh, part two, Eve model sheets, Shogo model sheets and Yui model sheets, looking a little more realistic in this film. Yeah, this book definitely has like all the technical stuff. Look at this. This is a great illustration of Eve here. This one too. This is just an amazing illustration of, you know, everybody basically with the city in the background. I would love to have that as a poster or this one or that one or this little picture here, which I can barely see. Sometimes, the, you know, the Japanese books can be full of 
you know, small thumbnail photographs, like color photographs of, of the films. And sometimes it can be difficult to see. This is great. You know, in that particular case, I, I would feel like less is more really like I, you know, be happy with less. Um, like here's, here's a good example, like less screenshots, bigger photographs. This is great. This picture of Eve here, she looks a lot like Ishtar from um, Macross 2, like spitting image right there. You know, the glass yellow eyes and the um, bluish gray hair, which I don't mind. I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. Wow, look at this big spread of uh, garlands here. And here's another one. And then looks like uh, some model kits maybe, or toys. Here's our garland here. And I saw one like this on uh, eBay that transforms and I think it was about $500 and I, you know, I'd really like to have it, but I'd really not like to pay $500 for it. So, you know, maybe my next trip to Japan, maybe I try to find one. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, or what the price would be when I get there. My experience has been that, uh, at least books are much cheaper in Japan than, you know, buying them you know, uh, in the US on eBay. I mean, you really, a lot of times the books are expensive and on top of that, the shipping is expensive. So, you know, last time I went to Nakano Broadway, I went to Manadrake and uh, brought a whole suitcase home of books. So my next trip, hopefully next year, I'll do the same thing. So here, you know, is part three, and I believe that these are a whole new cast of characters. But you know, Megazone 2-3, if you haven't seen it, like it has this um, cyberpunk vibe to it, which is really cool. It's, you know, it's very 80s, you know, obviously punk, or uh, New Wave or New Romantic was very, very popular in the 80s. And um, the looks with, you know, dyed hair and, you know, blue hair and green hair and red hair and whatnot was just a very popular thing to do during that time. So to see these films, you know, have that and, and portray those images, characters with those images, it's just awesome to see because you know, I don't know what happened after the 80s where it seems like we just lost our creativity and everything just went, you know, monotone. So, not to mention it seems like, you know, it was kind of the last uh, era of uh, musicians and bands kind of writing their own music where now everything seems so overproduced. And here's this really cool, lanky looking Eve here with her microphone. This is an awesome piece of artwork. And then in the back, you get a little poster here. And that's it. That's all there is. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos on, uh, on anime books. You're really gonna enjoy them. I'll see you next time.